Alrighty, what's up guys? So, this video is what a lot of you guys requested is explaining what a meta is and how they work. So, basically, what I'm explaining is how they work, how you make stuff properly work, fix stuff, etc. So, main thing here is the resource law. This runs every little thing about a meta. So, sometimes you'll have issues with vehicles' metas. Uh, handling or vehicle metal issues they'll come up with saying they're mainly errors for possibly a broken meta and or resource lure so sometimes you'll have a resource lure that has um here that will have data slash in front of them all so if we can add this sometimes you have this but your metals will be out here like this when they have data slash they have to be in a data file, so you have to create a data file and put all your metas in there. Then it'll work. I don't like doing that, so if there is a data, I just remove every single data. So simple as boom. Oh. It only takes about five, ten seconds to remove them all. These parts here are the longest because you can't really remove them that quick. But it's as simple as that for the resource lure. They're set by different things here. If we go to Google, we type in. Docstar 5M. We let that load. Australian it's the best. Alright, so this is probably your best thing. So you got data files down here in game references. So these are all the different metas parts for metas in your data files. So if we are uh, F3 vehicles. So you got like your car calls file here. Uh, vehicle extras, etc. So that's all based off of that, but as you can see here. Vehicle variations, it's car variations, layouts, vehicle metadata, etc. So, that's this part, right? Resource sword, that's what you should all look like. So now, when you go to the vehicles meta, let it load because this is 70,000 lines. So we're going to start off looking at the top vehicle. That This is just the default one. So this is called 9F. So, I'm going to go top to bottom all the way down here. What is num to do? Let's just go to Sadler, actually. We'll do Sadler. So, we're going to go from the top meta line down from what I'm aware of. So, model name, TXD name, handling line, and gaming name. You do not need these here. If you do not want game, you don't even need the game name and or vehicle make name. If you do not want it, you just remove it from here and put a slash. Simple as that. Now it won't use it. But these are the main used things. Model name and TXD. The name. These are the name of the stream file. So if your stream file is donkey for the YFT and the high YFT, this needs to be donkey. Either it can be lowercase like this or it can be uppercase. I like to do uppercase because it looks more neat and nice in my opinion. But that's personal preference more or less. So you do that exact same thing for the TXM. Now your handling name. This is going to be, you can set this to a default GTA 5 vehicle to so say, I want my saddler to handle like a buffalo. Then you can say that's a buffalo. Simple as that. But custom handling lines, I'll get to in another video if someone does want me to do that. But an explanation of this is more or less what way your vehicle handles. So default vehicles are more or less the best. There's this post here. Let me grab it quickly. So I can bring it up. Um, right here. Load, please. Come on. Right. So there's this many here. This was released by uh, Gordano, I think this one. One of the, uh, I think it's a mod, yeah, community mod. So these are explanations of some type of default handling lines that you can use on vehicles. So, got stuff like Gauntlet, Sand King, Coquette, Sadler, etc. So this gives you a brief explanation. I'll put this in the description below, so I'll go ahead and just close this down. While I was actually doing that, let's go ahead and actually bring something up. So, now the next part we're going to look at is, that I'm aware of, is the audio name hash. So, the audio name hash is <clears throat> the base of what your vehicle is going to sound like, right? So, if you have a vehicle in game, normally they have chargers. You'll notice in some servers they have like a, like a Crown Vic type of sound charger. That's uh, normally police. Three, I think it is. Um if I'm not correct, but that's what most servers have, unfortunately, set to. Um, I don't know why people have it set to that, but 
sure what main servers like some people magically want to put DOJ as their handling thing so DOJ's handling lines for, or their audio name hashes for um, their charges are actually set to Bula 2 or 3 one of them but they will sound beefy etc um, there's also another post this one here by Gordo so this is what you want your vehicle to sound like, so Crown VX, Chargers, Windsor is one that also gets used for a Charger. So you got Fugitive, Gressley, Baller. Gressley is more or less for a newer type of model, but I'll put this in the description below. So that's the audio name hash. You always want an audio name hash. With a default one, they don't have an audio name hash and it's a replacement vehicle. If your vehicle's not a replacement, you do not need to worry about this. If it's an add-on, you definitely need to worry about this, otherwise your vehicle's going to be dead and nothing sound like it. So now, we're going to go down here. So, diffuse tint. This is the window tint spawn, right? If your vehicle spawns in with dark window tint, this is more or less the police tint. Spawns in with dark window tint, what you want to do is have this as the diffuse. I normally just on my save zone, I just have it like this. So, that's absolutely clear, no window tint spawning at all, right? So that's the main part. Now, LOD distances. This stands for LOD distance or low distance. So this is how a model or how far away a model you can see. Some models in Z modeler you'll notice that only have one LOD. So let me just go grab a random, uh, what do I know that has one? This Suburban, does it have one? It's just low. Oh, it has multiple. But normal thing would be they'd have, yeah, so. Multiple LOs, as you can see, some are multiple, some has just one. So if it just has just one, you'd normally want it to do 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 500. But uh, you don't really need to do that if they have multiple LOs. But I just do it for the safe side. That's that part, basically. So flags, there's a lot of flags out there. There's more set things for like off-road vehicle. I'm not 100% I'm not sure what most of these flags do. They're kind of stupid. But attaching trailers on highway, etc. Interior extras, I presume that's if you have like a cup or something in the interior. Extra strong. This is for if you have a ram bar or some or your light bar, and for some reason it's an extra, but it goes flying off when you hit it. That's one thing when I first started modeling, I had no idea how to fix that. Just a simple flag you put in. Alright, so now we're gonna go down to these here. You're more or less like dashboard types, but wheel type. So this is the type of wheel base category that your vehicle is going to spawn in with so if you have a vehicle that's a charger you could set it to sport muscle etc normal police vehicles i had them set to sport or muscle because muscle were the replacement wheels that i had in my servers uh, etc so these are more or less the thing if we quickly want to come here let me just put this here all right i'm going to leave this in the description this is a big explanation of vehicles matter so if you actually scroll down Right here. So these are the vehicle classes. You got your wheel type. So you got your spore, muscle, off road, tuna, etc. So I'll leave that in the description below as well. Um, yeah. So trailers. These are the trailers. Uh, trailers in addition. These are the trailers that are gonna be able to attach to your truck if you have a truck. Sadler has a tow hitch or tow bar, whatever you call it, depends what country you're from. So this is what you'd set to. So normally you'd put to a replacement uh, replacement trailer. But if you have an add-on that's called Potato Head. You can set it as potato head and it'll still work. Now, this driver's part. I never knew what this was until recently. Drivers is actually AI. If your vehicle is a replacement model and or... Yeah, if it's a replacement model. And you see vehicles driving around. These are the peds that you see them driving around in. So these are the NPCs of the ped. Or the NPC of the car that will be driving around in. So normally, I just have this set to nothing. So it just has a random one. So, if you don't want it, you just simply go like this. Boom. Done. Now, rewards. For me to explain rewards, we're going to go to police thing. So, rewards, right? So, you got reward, weapon, pump shotgun, pump shotgun, enter vehicle, and stat weapon. So, these are rewards for when you step in your vehicle, etc. So, the reward pump shotgun, this is, you're going to receive a pump shotgun once you step in your model or your vehicle. Right. Ammo, pump shop, gun, enter vehicle. This is going to give you max ammo, I think it is, or default, like, 8 ammo when you shoot into your vehicle. And reward stat weapon. I'm not too sure what that is. That's more or less with the weapon. So that's what your rewards is and how to use them, etc. There'll be more 
a lot of the stuff you can look in the description and you should see a lot of different things that should explain it but yeah okay required extras is one i actually really liked <clears throat> so these are four extras that you require on a model so it's sometimes gta 5 likes to spawn in with different extras this is what you can make of the have a requirement of that extra so if you have a light bars extra five you can put in here extra five and that will be the base one so you would do it like any other one so you just go ahead and go like this and say we want extra underscore one simple right backspace this great it's set up we want extra five you just set it there extra five extra nine etc for the space simple as that so this is now a hundred percent going to spawn in with those extra right make sure you put this here otherwise it won't work this is what yours should look like if you have just one extra that's what yours should look like just a different number i presume so that's basically vehicles meta explanation so now we're going to go to the wonder part of car variations if it wants to load right so liveries i've not really tested per se yet but we'll start from the top so model name same as stated in the vehicles a minute if your vehicle has or your spawn enemy vehicle is donkey etc you say it like this could be lowercase or capital it's your opinion so these indie or ind indecisors and colors this is what color your vehicle is going to spawn in with so if you have a vehicle that is a transparent skin um <clears throat> yeah if you have a transparent skin for your models you can have this set to certain color ids I'm um, trying to find where it is on my monitor, but there's set colors you can have for pink, blue, whatever. There's like hundreds of IDs for all the different colors in game. That's absolutely great. Um, let me see if I can find it. But if, if I find it, I'll put it in the description below. If not, I'll put up a message on the screen or my uh, annoying editor who will. And yes, but. There will be set IDs, numbers you can set to. Uh, I'm not too sure what the difference between the numbers. I think it's like these two. So I think this is the main paint. And then this is the secondary paint. So the first and secondary. And I think one of these is the wheels, more or less. So it's kind of iffy. You can do it for the same for this one. Let me scroll down a bit. A lot, come on. Ooh, a lot, yep, a lot. we still going. Right here. So these kits. So say you have a police car in your game that is rolling around with spoilers you can put spoilers uh side stuff this is how you will change it this is the mod kit so uh we're gonna go to police right um right this mod kit here this is the mod kit you want to be zero underscore default underscore mod kit so if you have a police vehicle or civilian vehicle you do not want having anything along the lines of um <clears throat> side skirts bumper uh, accessories etc you'd set this here to that if you do not want them to be able to change the wheels or anything along the lines all you do is you copy here or well, you don't copy you just select it go backspace boom now it's set up to where they can't do anything i've not really used anything here um okay the light settings you do not want to touch these unless you are modeling a vehicle and or doing car calls so you've got the siren setting this is your siren settings for the way that your model lights work so these if you have a custom model that was made recently 2016 and above i think it is when car calls was released but this is where you would set it to just don't worry about this if you're on a modeler but if you are just set your id here the exact same as car calls so that's car variations very simple to do now the wonderful car calls we're gonna let uh great grandma load sorry that just skins in that will go to place so this is a car call id for your main mods so what we've got right this is the id so this is the name that would be the siren setting in the car variation this is what you set that to so you'd have this as 50 60 something rather make sure it's above i think it's like 30 otherwise it will not work properly so the name this can be whatever you want if you want it to be chipmunk alvin anything from alvin chipmunks you can set it to alvin bacon chips anything along the lines of that it doesn't really matter it's not a necessity so lights fall off max and the fall off exponent exponents these are how ambient your vehicle is going to be if you want your vehicle to have a decent amount of ambient i normally have mine about 125 
it's good. It's a great amount, in my opinion. <clears throat> so, now, Secrets of BPM. This is how fast your lights are going to flash. So, most vehicles that are good out there are more, more likely set to about 700, maybe to 1,000. It depends. So, that's where this goes. These here, these are wigwags. If you see a model with the front white headlights or something flashing, this is how they're set to. So you can use these two here. If I want the headlights to flash, I just copy this to here. And simple. This is what it would look like, right? <clears throat> now, the sirens. These rotations here, this is for rotating lights from one wire. But the flashiness is what we're going to quickly look at. So, Delta, this is how your light gets rotated. So, for ambience in uh, GTA 5 non EIS, is say you want rear lighting, you would want to rotate your mesh 180 so it's facing the front, then in your car course, you'd set the Delta to a set part and it'll rotate at 180. Again, right, start is just how, say, you have a light that you want to start midway through the other pattern, etc. That's how you'd set that up. Speed, I haven't really done it. Sequences. So this is light patterns. I'm still learning and trying to understand sequences. They're very confusing um, to get a hang of, but once you do, you'll be good. So that's more or less I'll leave out. <clears throat> so, coronas. These are the little dots you'll see flashing in models. These, this is what a corona is. So, intensity, don't really worry. You don't really need to worry about any of the coronas unless you're modeling. Color. Uh, if you watch my previous model um, video on how to change light colors, this is what you'd be using. So this is just the ambient color lighting and all the dummy or the uh, corona. That's what this color would be. Um, don't really worry about anything else. But that's the main part of matters. So handling lines, I'll go over maybe in another video. I'll go ahead and leave this in the description. If you guys really want to understand, this is a whole explanation of handling lines, what it does, etc. But, um, yes, that's the metas, that's how they're set up, etc. So, if you guys have any questions, make sure to join my Discord, it's in the description below, and I'll comment them, your choice. But, uh, I yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe, if you don't, I'm going to shoot you. Enjoy.